I own your soul. <laughs> <laughs> the story for Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning follows another nameless character in a video game, which I'm quite getting sick of, to be honest. A nameless character that doesn't talk. I'm, I'm getting tired of it. But anyway, you play as a nameless character that doesn't talk, who in the beginning of the game is actually dead. So your character in the beginning is dead. But the character, of course, does soon wake up and find out that they have been resurrected by a dwarven wizard. You and this wizard are then attacked and you escape. After you escape, you meet up with a character known as a Fate Weaver who can actually see people's fates. Problem is, he can't see yours. So now you know that you can actually change people's fates because you do not have one yourself. So now the character must find out why he or she has been resurrected and why the character has the ability to change the supposed permanent fate of people. The story itself is really, really good, actually. It's very original, and I really dug it. I was actually very captivated, and I really, really liked it. The thing is, it's not the best out there. I mean, there's other RPG stories that are better than this, even without being original, in my opinion. I think it's still a really good story. It's very original, very interesting, but not the best out there. So, there you go. Let's go on to the sound. Now the sound for Kingdoms of Amalur. The game has a huge cast of voice actors, which all do a really, really good job voicing each character. There really were no bad ones, and there really were no amazing ones. Everybody did a competent job, which is good, but not amazing. The sound design is really, really good also. Each spell and weapon sound distinct and not repetitive when you actually use them, and the enemies when you're fighting someone that isn't a human, of course, all sound really good. The soundtrack also complements the fantasy world of Amalur perfectly, so that's a plus. The sound in Kingdoms of Amalur, just like the story, is really good, but not the best out there for its genre. Sorry that I keep saying that, but it's true. So anyway, there you go, the sound, let's go and talk about the graphics. Now the graphics. Kingdoms of Amalur sports a very huge and colorful world to explore. The game also has a wide variety of different and well detailed enemies to fight, weapons to fight with, and spells to cast. All the effects look great and really go with the colorful world of Amalur. There is one problem though, and that is it gets dark, and when it gets dark, it gets pretty bland looking. I mean, you could definitely tell how bland the game can look when it gets very dark and dreary, mostly when you go in caves and tunnels. The environments are dreary looking and the textures look very, very muddy. Also, there is a consistent texture pop-up, which you don't really notice when you're in the regular environments, but you will easily notice in one of the many caves throughout the whole game. Also, the character models, for the most part, aren't that great, just overall, for any character model. They're not that great. They're good, but they're not great. Overall, the game does look really good, but not amazing. So there you go. Let's go on to the gameplay. Now the gameplay. The combat in Kingdoms of Amalur is some of the best out there for any RPG that I have ever played. It's a very smooth combination of hacking and slashing that actually makes you feel like you are murdering the balls out of something. The wide selection of weapons and pieces of armor you can get make it tons of fun just to go back out into the environment and kill the hell out of everything just to try them out. The game also has something that I have never seen before in an RPG like this one, which is the ability to use two weapons at the exact same time. You can have one huge ass hammer mapped to the X button and a great sword mapped onto the Y button and you can just mix and match during combat, which is awesome. And that, that's great that it's not just like small weapons go to Y and big weapons go to X. You can mix and match any weapons you get and you get a wide selection of them like I said earlier. In the beginning of the game you also get an ability called the Fate Shift which slows down time and powers up your attacks. Once you kill everyone in this mode you can actually go up to one specific enemy, small, big, it doesn't matter, and lay down the law by performing an execution by pressing like any button it tells you to like X, Y, or B, rapidly tap tapping it and if you tap it all at the right time then you get an XP multiplier and a bloody finisher which is awesome. Let's just say this, there is a ton, a ton of variety in the combat, and the game, of course, it's an RPG, so it also has a level up system which lets you pick what you want to be, like a warrior, archer, or sorcerer, you could put different points onto each one of them, or you could put points onto different skills, like uh, being able to talk to people and persuade them to think what you're thinking and stuff, it's really awesome, the level up system is great in this game. 
The world of Amalur is so huge and I found myself getting distracted all the time by just little things in the environment like people that need help, um, chests that I had to go unlock, hidden items, reagents that actually let you craft potions, and so on. There is so much in this game. The game will easily entertain you for hours with the tons of story and side missions that you have to complete. Right now I still have about 20 active side quests that I have to do and I will do them. Do not worry about that. The game is filled to the brim with content. Some of the missions are kind of repetitive here and there. Some of them are exactly the same as others. But for the most part, Kingdoms of Amalur is easily one of the most refreshing and awesome RPGs I've played since, well, that other one that came out a few months ago that shall not be named, Skyrim. I easily recommend it for everyone that wants a really good RPG story and gameplay that is plentiful and fun. That is my review. I hope you take it in consideration to getting the game, which you definitely should. Thank you and goodbye.